Uh, one of the big things is Shaw Theater. That that started the whole thing, the expansion of the town. Because Shaw Theater was there, people began to realize where Niagara Lake was and what a beautiful little town it was and what a beautiful place to retire. But that, too, I think was... I mean, before the Shaw built the main stage, really operating out of the courthouse, the size of the audience wasn't very large. So when you build the main stage, all of a sudden you have a theater that holds 800 people or more, and they need a place to eat. They need a place to sleep. And so I think that sort of branched out. It wasn't just the theater. All of a sudden there are all kinds of offshoots in front of the theaters. Well, you see, Brian Doherty started it, and it started in the courthouse in the big hall. And then it spread from there. It went into the the old movie theater, which we used to go to to see movies. And then they built the the new Shaw Theater, and then it, it started to grow. And people began began to know where Niagara Lake was, and consequently, no, people started to remember where Niagara Lake was because Niagara Lake was a was a tourist town in the eighteen sixties, the eighteen yeah, nineties, and the nineteen twenties, and then it, it, it died. It yeah. became an agricultural town in the nineteen thirties. Well, you see, the the trains stopped running. New York Central yeah. stopped. The tram cars stopped running. The boats, the steamboats, stopped running, and so Niagara Lake went into a, a dull time. Yeah. And nothing, nothing happened. Eh? It's, po- it's post-war when when yeah. the camp starts to slow down. It's not a military town anymore. Yeah. See, when we first moved here, uh, the campground was still in operation out on the commons. The military were there.